howdy folks welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing video today in this box should be a pedal power supply from Lakato. now if you've been a subscriber for a while you probably recognize that name i've unboxed several of their products in the past they're a accessory company make some really cool stuff and hopefully this one is no exception so let's get it open by the way if you're seeing these teeth marks and stuff on here i set this down and the cat started trying to eat it but <clears throat> all right that's it another piece of paper in there but all right here is our power supply so it says isolated power supply mpp10 here on the front um again this comes from lakato you can buy these off of amazon and i'll go ahead and put the purchase link down in the description so let's go ahead and get this baby open let's see here so we open her up and we've got a little manual or something up on top i'm going to set that to the side and then this is our power supply and let's see what else we've got in here we've got oh boy a whole bunch of stuff okay we've got a bunch of cables here so these appear to be dropping them there's so many these appear to be the pedals the cables that go from the little power ports here to the actual pedals and then we've also got the power supply here so this is what plugs into the wall and nothing special there just like you've seen most of the power supplies so that's what we've got let's go ahead and get this out of its little bag now this is said to be a switched power supply and if you don't know what that is i'll explain it here in just a second but <clears throat> It will power multiple pedals with just the one adapter. So I'm not sure how well you can read this, but there are numbers here across the top for the 10 power channels. And numbers one through seven are nine volt, 300 milliamp. So what that means is the switch power supply inside is delivering exactly 300 milliamp, nine volt power to each of those. Then number eight, is nine volt 500 milliamps so just a little bit more power half an amp on that one and then nine and ten are also 500 milliamp but they are switchable between 12 9 12 or 18 volt and what you see here is you have a little switch that allows you to switch that setting so the majority of your pedals on the market will use nine volt power some use 18 volt power there are a handful that use 12 volt power so this will handle all of those different scenarios and that's what makes it useful but the switch power is different than traditional um, power supplies and let me show you how so we've probably all seen one of these it's just a little dongle that allows you to take a nine volt battery and plug it in to a pedal or some pedals might just have a nine volt hookup inside so what that means is that battery is just powering the pedal so whatever power that battery can produce is used to power the pedal you also may have seen some things like this this is a one spot i actually love these but this one spot it produces nine volt power and the the overall power supply in here produces 1.8 amps i believe and then on this end you hook up a little thing that has six pedal hookups and so then you can power up to six pedals with this one plug now what that means is since it's producing 1.8 amps you would have 300 milliamps delivered to each pedal but if you only had two pedals plugged in you would have theoretically 900 milliamps delivered to each pedal and so on well that's how a basic unswitched power supply works the switched power supply inside of this is going to deliver that constant amount regardless of whether it's plugged in or not. So if I plug one pedal in to this, it's going to get 300 milliamps. If I plug six pedals into all of these, they're each going to get six, 300 milliamps. Now let's go ahead and try this out by plugging it into a few pedals. Now again, if you're only powering one pedal with this, you know, you might as well just use this. But if you're powering multiple pedals, two, three, four, five, six pedals, that's where this comes in really handy because it only takes up one plug on the wall. Okay, so here is our MPP-10 and let's go ahead and plug this into the wall power. So when we do that, we can see this red light comes on indicating that the unit has power. And now I've got a smattering of effects pedals I just randomly grabbed. But let's go ahead and start powering some of these. So here is one of our little adapter cables. We'll plug that into the first one. You can see the green light comes on there. And I'll plug it into the Sonic Cake Reverb here. And this does not have an input lockout, so it should turn on and off. It does. So that one is being powered. Let's go ahead and do the Quaverado next, the Zeppelin Design Labs pedal right here. So let's plug that in here to the MPP. 
And this one also is a nine volt pedal, as you can see right here, it's marked. Hopefully you can see that, but if we plug this in, we don't see anything because this does have an input jack lockout. So let's go ahead and plug a cable into the input jack and we should, there we go. That one is working. All right, so we're now powering two pedals with one power supply. This here is a fuzz pedal that I did a DIY project on quite some time ago. Let's go ahead and power that one as well. So we'll plug that in here and <clears throat> also to the MPP. There we go. So again, we see three lit up there. And again, this does not have the lockout, so you can see that is working. And then we have our stereo looper here. So let's go ahead and power that one as well. Again, this is a nine volt pedal, as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and plug that one in and then plug it in over here. And voila, that one should boot up. And it's actually even got a loop in memory. So we might just use that to test out all these pedals. Now this here is a volume pedal. This is um, was originally an Ernie Ball VP Junior, but it has the VPM mod from Zeppelin Design Labs, which allows it to run on nine volt power. So let's go ahead and power that one as well. And we'll plug this in here and then we'll plug it in over here and we should see that light up. Okay, so we are now powering, as you can see here from the green lights, we're powering five pedals. And I still have this blowtorch from MXR here. Now, one of the reasons I grabbed this one, if you can read there, this is an eight, oh, let's put it this way. This is an 18 volt pedal. So this does not run on nine volt power. But as we mentioned earlier, this has these variable outputs down here. So this first one is pushed all the way down, which would be the 18 volt position. So if I take one of these cables and plug it in there and then plug it into our blowtorch, it should get power. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so here is our setup and I realize it's not very pretty to look at, but I managed to get everything powered and all the signals routed through. So we start with our looper here. Signal goes over to the volume pedal, then to the blowtorch, the fuzz, the Quaverado, and finally out through the sonic cake. And that cable goes to our interface. So if we go ahead and start the loop, there you see that light is on, so the loop is playing, but you don't hear anything. That's because I've got the volume pedal all the way down. So let's turn that up and we should hear the loop. There we go. Now again, this loop was already in the looper when I powered it on, so I didn't record that specifically, but we can do things like go to half speed, make it sound really funky, or go to reverse. So maybe we'll mess with that a little later. Anyway, so there's our loop. Let's go ahead and kick in the blowtorch. Okay, no doubt that that is working. Of course, we can tweak any of these levels. Maybe we want to do, but that's definitely working. Let's go over here to the fuzz. Okay, we can definitely hear that. Very aggressive pedal. And of course, I can turn it up and really get it nasty or turn it back a little bit for something a little milder, but kind of like it in that range. All right, they're definitely working. Let's do the Quaver Auto here. So hopefully you can hear that warble effect. I can uh, certainly change the rate here. Get it more like a chopper like that. I can make it deeper. I can make it slower, really like small as panning effect. But there you go, that's definitely working. And finally, let's check out the reverb. There we go. You definitely hear that. But of course, since they're all hooked up, we can hook up multiples at the same time. So there is the blue torch and the reverb at the same time. Let's add the Quaver Auto. We can even add the fuzz. It's probably going to be kind of messy, but there we go. Let's take the fuzz off. And of course, this still works too, so we can fade it back. Okay, so we don't just have to use the MPP to power pedals, we can power other things too. So this is a MIDI controller, this is a MIDI controller, this is a drum synthesizer, and then this is a little glitch synthesizer that I made. So you can see right now I've got the little drum pad synth plugged in, and if I grab a stick here, of course we can tweak everything. So you can see that that's working. But in addition, we can power other things. Like for instance, let me plug in this little synthesizer that I made. Let me move the audio over here. And now if I turn this on, number one, we see 
the light there, but we also can hear the the thing doing what it does. So we can also power that. But in addition here, this is a MIDI controller, so I don't, it's not gonna make any noise. But if I plug that in, we should see the MIDI controller boot up there. And of course, all of its functions will respond here. So this uh, is fully being powered by the MPP in addition to the little synthesizer and the drum pad. And then this here, this is another MIDI controller, but you can see this runs on USB power. But what I didn't mention during the unboxing is that there is a USB port here and it includes one amp of five volt power as well. So if I plug this in here, we should be able to power this as well. So there you go, you can see the light on there hopefully, but this is also being powered by the MPP. So the MPP doesn't just have to power pedals, it can power all kinds of things. So there you have it folks, that's the MPP-10 from Lakato, kind of what it can do. Now there are a lot of different power supplies on the market as I mentioned before, and some people have extreme loyalty to one brand or another. Don't want to get into all that, but as far as I can tell, this seems to work pretty well. Um, it's a nice little package, it's very reasonably priced, and um, there you go. I would definitely uh, re recommend this, and actually I'm sure I will end up using this because it's really nice at any point when you're using more than one pedal. So if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.